Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? This is no party, Doc. We're on an important mission. We can save the galaxy and still have a good time, right? Leave everything to me. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. I'll at least accommodate your standard of living on Balmora. Bar's pretty high. Had it awfully good there. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. So far, so good. And now that we're a team, figure it's only a matter of time before the whole galaxy gets saved. Not too early for vacation planning, Gorgeous. Old Doc's ready to whisk you away someplace special when this war's over. And what will we do on this getaway? What won't we do? Working too hard is bad for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Don't make me confine you to bed rest, beautiful. Unless you want me to. I trust your instincts. I'll do whatever's necessary to protect my health. I like that in a patient. I recommend routine uh, physical checkups. In fact, you should stop by the med bay at least once a day. I'll clear my schedule. Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the outer rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Colto might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. I take it you didn't start your career on Balmora? Born on Raltier. Graduated Coruscant University. Highest honors. I could have gone home, had a safe medical practice, and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality healthcare to their planets? My experience? Helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. Not everyone needs a laser sword and mind tricks to get out of a tight spot. Well, you have your own special abilities. Nice of you to notice. If I were you, I wouldn't leave the ship without me. I knew you were coming. Every time you're in the area, the local air temperature goes up 10 degrees. Didn't realize I had that effect. You must be burning up, Doc. Not yet, but there's always hope. We could dance around each other for weeks, beautiful. But who has that kind of time? Let's admit the truth and get on with it. We're like two asteroids on a collision course. All that's left is... colliding. Careful what you wish for. I'll break you into a million pieces. I'm sturdier than you think. Sounds like, uh, you're the one who's afraid. I hardly know you. What kind of woman lets a strange man kiss her? I get it. You enjoy the chase. Alright. Go ahead and run. When you get tired, I'll, uh... Help you catch your breath. Ah, life of a combat medic. Long hours, grueling work. Patients bleeding all over your nice clothes. I'm not complaining. Nothing beats the look of gratitude from someone whose life you just saved. But my female patients are always developing feelings for me. Some just won't take no for an answer. You're a hard man to resist. Can't help being born handsome with charisma to spare. Ah, oh, we all have our curses. I figured Jedi have the same problem. You must have admirers lined up from one end of the galaxy to the other. Only one of them actually matters to me. Sounds like a lucky guy. Introduce me sometime. Just imagine how popular we'll be after we knock the Sith Empire into a black hole. If I were you, I'd get some extra sleep now. You can get along without me for a bit, right? Need to pop over to Alderaan. Old friend of mine there got kidnapped by gangsters. They'll kill her if I don't deliver the spice they paid me for. You realize selling spice is against the law? What's to stop me from turning you in? They only paid me for spice. Never planned to actually deliver any. A couple of years back, I scammed this gang for a bulk load of credits. Spent everything to set up a refugee hospital in Alderaan. My friend is the head doctor there. Uh, I guess the gangsters finally figured out where all the money went. 
They're holding your friend hostage until you give them the credits, or the spice. I'm going undercover for Republic Customs. Once I deliver the spice and free my friend, the good guys swoop in. Gangsters go to prison and my friend gets your hospital back. Whole plan's foolproof. Won't take any time at all. This sounds too dangerous for you to handle alone. I should come. Aw, oh, it's sweet, gorgeous. But there are some things a man just has to do for himself. Those gangsters were smarter than I thought. But the Republic hostage negotiators talked him out of killing me. They were really something. I assume the woman you went to save also survived? Old Doc never lets down a lady in distress. My friend got away clean. We never got a chance to catch up, but, uh, hey, that's her on the hollow. Probably wants to say thanks. Hey, pretend you work for me, all right? You look terrific, Prudy. Have you lost weight? Love the new hairstyle. Two years without so much as a hollow, and that's all you can say. You abandoned me at our wedding. Wow, this conversation got entertaining in a hurry. I thought you loved me. You said all those wonderful things on Ord Mantel. Prudy, sweetheart. Those were <laughs> sweet nothings. You should never take those at face value. My parents flew all the way from Corson for a wedding that never happened. You loathsome cat. I wish I'd never met you. You're a little high strung for Doc. I don't blame him for running. I didn't run. I... I got sidetracked. Ugh. How do you live with yourself? Look on the bright side, Prudy. You still have that hospital I bought you. The gangsters burned it to the ground. She still loves me. Ugh, those gangsters on Alderaan brought back some great memories. Oh, they used to call me Doc Operator back in the day. I was the go-to guy for everything medical. Trauma kits, surgical droids, hospitals, you name it, and I could get it. One time, this hut was hoarding med packs after a massive ground quake, selling them in an obscene markup. I tricked Mandalorians into attacking his palace. Pitting Mandalorians against a hut? You enjoy living dangerously, Doc. That's why you can't resist me. I forged a death mark signed by the hut against the Mandalorian clan. They, uh, accidentally found it with a little help from yours truly. The Mandalorians attacked the Hut Palace in record time. By sheer coincidence, I was there to sweep in and clear out the Hut's medpacks. You could have been killed doing that alone. Promise you'll take me along if you ever do anything that crazy again. Done. I won't need the Mandalorians. Uh, thanks to an anonymous donor, every hospital in the Disaster Zone received supplies to treat their patients. Saved thousands of lives. That was small time compared to what we're doing. When we save the galaxy, I'm not staying anonymous. This ship is way too quiet. No offense to the others, but you're the only decent conversationalist here. Question is, are you interested in more than just talking? There must be some reason I keep coming back here. We both know what that is. We don't get much downtime. Be a shame not to take advantage of it. Excellent point. I don't consider myself a greedy man, but I'm making an exception for you. The galaxy will survive a little longer without us. What do you say? We deserve a vacation. And I know just how to spend it. You're... Whew, this was... I'm, I'm positive I heard your holocom beeping on the bridge. Might be important. I... uh... Need to, uh, clean the med bay. It's filthy. I'm, uh... I'll see you later. I can't believe this. Standards at the Republic Health Administration must be non-existent. I went to medical school with a new acting head. Guy is a moron. Doesn't know a viber scalpel from a field cauterizer. Barely passed his final exams. How is he the top doctor in the Republic? If what you say is true, he shouldn't be allowed to remain in that position. We should contact the authorities. The authorities? Are, uh, the ones who put him in charge. This is what always happens. Real doctors go out and save lives. Idiots stay on Coruscant and get themselves promoted. 
So what if this guy invented a vaccine for Zabrak scalp necrosis? I could have done it. I'm just busy. Well, you're saving the whole galaxy. And keeping me alive, too. Sure, but nobody knows it. I'm languishing in heroic obscurity. Tell you this much. Enough's enough. No more Mr. Nice Doc. The galaxy's gonna find out what a real physician looks like. I gotta find a disease to cure. Something really unpleasant. Old Doc's always been more of a lover than a fighter. But I had to up my game since you came around. It's not easy looking good when you're fighting next to a Jedi. But I figured out the trick. You're dashing even when you're only standing around. That comes naturally. I'm talking about skill, gorgeous. Yep. Next time we're surrounded by the scum of the galaxy, they're gonna be sorry they met me. Every time I think I've seen it all, the galaxy shows me something new and crazy. The latest journal of Xeno Medicine reports that Wookiees live for centuries and mate for life. How can they do that? It's unnatural. Being with the same man for the rest of my life? No thanks. I'm supposed to believe that if old Doc offered you a lifetime commitment, you'd turn me down? Not that I'm... It was a... Hypothetical. Catching up on the latest medical data always makes me hungry. And I hate eating alone. What do you say, beautiful? Grab a bite? I had something else in mind, but... If you aren't feeling up to it... Snack time can wait. I swear, every time we're together, it's different. You're not using Jedi mind tricks on me, are you? Would you be excited if I said yes? Sure. I mean, no. I don't... I don't know. Are you doing it right now? Don't answer that. I'm tired, that's all. Been a long... year. Sergeant Rusk better have left me some energy pudding. Grazing soldier eats everything that isn't nailed down. I'll, uh... I'll see you around. It shouldn't be this hard to find a terrible disease I can cure. Ugh, all the good ones are taken. All that's left are embarrassing things, like both and nether rot, or diseases that'll take decades to treat. I don't have that kind of time. Even if you never cure a disease, you'll always be the galaxy's greatest doctor to me. That's sweet. Not helpful, but sweet. This won't keep me down. I'll cure an important disease even if I have to create it myself. Say, that's not a bad idea. I know better than to criticize your terrible ideas. You'll figure it out on your own. I could mix a little pig lizard flu with a strain of Gamorian mumps. Ooh, yeah. This is going somewhere. I'm glad you stopped by, but old Doc has thinking to do. You should go meditate. Clean your lightsaber and whatever. Oh, old Doc's luck is finally turning around. Got a holocall from this ravishing Rotataki I knew on Hutta. Big opportunity to cure something important. I take it that means you're no longer attempting to create your own disease. Like I always say, a plague in the wild is better than two in the lab. My friend's old employer is a hut cartel boss named Nemro. He's infected with an incurable disease. It's eating him alive. Literally. No one's ever cured what Nemro has. He'll pay top credits to any doctor who can save his life. Ah, this is my big chance. Do you actually have a plan to fight this disease? Turns out, I studied this disease back in medical school. There's an experimental treatment no one's ever been able to try. It's too risky. I figure if there's a safe place to work with toxic chemicals, it's a Jedi starship. I know you don't mind. What exactly are you planning to bring on my ship? The main ingredients are cyanogen, silicate, ardanium, and accelerite. But don't worry, I'm already mixing the solution and we're all still alive. Now, give old Doc room to work. I got a date with medical history. The treatment formula is ready. Good thing. Nemro's half the hut he used to be. My friend's on her way to help. How's my hair? These clothes fit all right? Old Doc's gotta look his best for the historical record. History will remember you as a handsome man. Sure, sure. But what about dashing and intelligent? Forceful, yet sensitive, huh? That's what people expect from a doctor. When I save Nemro's life, the hollow journalists will be all over me. Oh, here she comes. Look at you, gorgeous. Love the new tattoo, huh? Nice gun. Let's get this over with. I don't enjoy playing hostage. 
Not for you, anyway. I need to make sure Nemro doesn't try to keep me all to himself after I cure him. Huts occasionally confuse gratitude with kidnapping. Nemro's got a soft spot for my friend. I'm paying her to stay here as my hostage while I fly to Hutta. Brilliant, huh? What's the going rate for a professional hostage? She charges by the minute. Worth every credit. Sit tight while I take care of business. I'll be back in no time. But before I become the most important medical specialist since Chorus Vondar, how about a kiss for luck? You'll get something much better than a kiss when you get back. Now that's a heroic send-off. Nemra will be healthy as a rancor in a meat factory. Or my name isn't Doc. Word to the wise. Every girl is allowed one indiscretion. Doc counts as two. If you have a story to share, I'm all ears. It's nothing you haven't already learned for yourself. Anyway, that's enough polite chit-chat. Is there anything interesting to eat on this rust bucket? I'm famished. I did it! Nemro's gonna live. The disease is cured. He's already regenerated lost tissue and organs. Wonderful news. I can leave. It's been amusing. You're not gonna stay and help us celebrate? Ha! Huh. No. You did a great thing today. You cured an incurable disease. Saved a life. Even better, I saved someone famous. That's the kind of story the Journal of Xenomedicine loves. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm putting your name in the special thanks section of my article. At the top, even. This is the worst day of my life. Some idiot bounty hunter killed Nemro the Hutt before the Journal of Xenomedicine could examine him. They can't verify my treatment worked, because Nemro's a big messy puddle of goo. There's no proof I saved him. I know how hard you work to develop that cure. The average hut lifespan is a thousand years. Nemro was only 600. Stupid bounty hunter. My only hope is someone else coming down with the disease so I can cure it again. I'm not holding my breath. The disease is rare, it could be years, decades before I get another shot at it. I know how your mind works. Don't even think about infecting someone with that terrible disease. I'm not a monster. It would be a mild strain. You know what? The Journal of Xenomedicine can take a flying leap into a black hole. You know, I'm starting my own blasted journal. I've had enough medical adventures these past few years to fill a library. And I'm telling people all about them. There you are. I was wondering where the real Doc was hiding. Old Doc never hides. He hibernates. Publishing a Holonet journal won't be easy. I'm gonna need recorders, edit droids, and a good S-thread broadcaster. That's some serious scratch. I'll have to start charging for my services. You understand. I'm willing to invest in a worthy venture. I'll only need a couple of million credits to get started. See what you can do. If someone was going crazy, would your Jedi powers let you know? I wish that were true. Would have saved me a lot of trouble. Thing is, I've been thinking about someone. A lot. I can't get her out of my head. It's not normal. Sounds like you're developing real feelings for her. She must be special to you. Doc doesn't develop feelings. But she is... special. If I'm going crazy, I don't want to be the only one. You think she might feel the same way about me? She keeps coming back, despite her better instincts. That can only mean one thing. Normally, I'd kiss you for talking like that, but I'm trying to do this right. Nice to see you're more than just another slick operator. Don't be silly. I'm the best slick operator there is. All I know is... can't stop thinking. And that's a first. Sooner or later, you and me are gonna save this galaxy. Might be time to start... thinking about our reward. All right, you win. Here's the deal. I'm good-looking, smart, and charming. I'm a top-flight medical specialist who does charity work. I've completely stopped looking at other women, which should be physically impossible. Bottom line, I'm pretty sure I love you. The galaxy could end any second, but that's no excuse not to get married. Can't believe I just said that. You didn't actually propose. I can't tell if you're applying for a job or just babbling. 
knew I should have written this down. I want us to spend the rest of our lives together, like the Wookiees. I'm asking you to make an honest man out of me. I don't know about the honest part, but I'll happily spend the rest of my life with you. Seeger, get your shiny tail out here! It's a go! I am Ceremony, Gala, and Ritual Droid Designation CGR-80. You may call me Seeger. Shall we begin your joining? Have you been hiding on my ship? I need to chat with Sergeant Rusk and Kira about security. Please. They're no match for old Doc. I've had Seeger on board for weeks. Please hold hands while I recite the terms of bonding. In all the galaxy, there is no greater force than true love. Love sustains, nourishes, and protects. Without love, the galaxy would be cold and empty. Your bond lends fire to the stars, dissolving the darkness. Do you take this man as your husband to cherish for the rest of your days? I suppose it's too late to back out. <laughs> Not funny. Do you take this woman as your wife to honor in word and deed? Definitely and always. We married yet? May your love transcend time, distance, and all barriers between. The terms of bonding are complete. You may now kiss. Seeger, be a good droid and deactivate yourself. We'll drop you off the next stop. Please do. I'm scheduled to preside over a Rodian Harvest Festival in three days. Rodians expect punctuality. So there you have it. You and me. Together forever. I never imagined it happening like this. But now, I can't imagine it any other way. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. Funniest thing, that thrill I used to get from saving a patient, it's gone. Once you're saving the galaxy, nothing else compares. I mean, how many doctors get to say they saved the septillion beings? I'm thinking it's just me. Not many doctors have married a Jedi, either. That's a different kind of thrill. Point is, if you hadn't taken me along for this ride, I would have missed out. I appreciate that. In fact, I am offering free medical care for you and anyone else you want. Lifetime guarantee. It's very generous, especially considering all the trouble we get in. You're making a big commitment. If I'd thought about that before saying it, probably wouldn't have used the word free. I've also figured out a way for us to have children without having to explain it to anyone. Those robes you people wear are pretty spacious. I am betting we could hide a little dock under them. We can't even consider children until the Emperor's been dealt with. After that, I'll put serious thought into your proposal. I'm a big fan of thinking myself. Can't wait to put our heads together. I'll make a great dad. Think of everything I can teach the little scamps. 